you know, whenever I'm fishing a suspending jerk bait in the, in the winter time, one of the things I like to do is make a, as long a cast as I can and I want to jerk it down to operating depth pretty good, which usually means four or five jerks, and then just kill it. Let it literally just sit there motionless. If there's a fish there, make him stare at it. And what I like to do, I don't know if you can see it in this video, but there's, there's actually grass on the surface in, in, uh, toward the shore from here. And I'm right out where, where it goes from there is grass to there isn't grass under the water. And I'm really trying to fish right along that little break line and see if there's not some, some fish that are suspended um, you know, as the water cools, you'll have shad die-offs, and that's what, what the fish are doing when they see a suspending jerkbait. They think it's a dying shad, and um, a lot of times they can't resist it. But one of the keys is extreme patience. So throw it out, jerk it down, and then just wait. Sometimes it's five seconds, sometimes it's 10 seconds. Under severe conditions, it might be 20 or 30 seconds to get that bite. Well, you know, if there was a fish out there right now while my bait's sitting motionless, a bass is real curious, and he would literally have his nose right up on that jerk bait. And as soon as I touch it with my rod, he would unload on it. So that's what you want. You want to, you know, get one maybe to follow it, and then just stop it. In real clear water, I've actually seen a bass come up and swim all the way around a jerk bait, over it, looking at it from every direction. So just picture in your mind when you think he's got his nose right on it, and then just touch it with the rod tip. See what happens. So when I jerk this suspending rod down, I want to absolutely let it sit motionless like that in the water. In real clear water, I've actually watched a bass swim up to a suspending jerk bait, look at it from the front, look at it from the back, swim over it upside down, looking at it from the top. They're a very curious creature. And when they see something that looks like a bait fish suspended in the water, if they're within eye shot of it, they're going to go take a look at it. Now what you want to do is you want to wait until you think that fish is right there with his nose on that bait. Then just touch it with your rod and just make it do that little toot 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 like that. And, and the instincts of that bass, he's going to engulf it. He can't help it. That's why the suspending rogue and the perfect 10 rogue are some of the most deadly, deadly cold weather baits in clear water that you'll ever fish.